So in this video, I'm going to talk about what to do with your hoop after you finish stitching. So you've got your piece finished and you're ready to display it on the wall. And how do we do that next? So this is method one. And we're going to start by trimming a circle around the fabric, around the hoop. So we want to trim the edges of the fabric so that it's just a little closer to the edge. And I'm keeping about at least an inch. Don't want to trim it too close to the hoop here. Does not have to be a perfect circle by any means. So now that we have our fabric trimmed evenly around the hoop, I'm going to turn the hoop over and we're going to take some thread, just any leftover embroidery thread that you have. It doesn't really matter what color it is. It doesn't even need to be embroidery thread for that matter. Thread your needle, tie a knot, and doesn't matter exactly where you start on the hoop. I usually start at the top just out of habit. But basically, we're going to go around and we're going to just do a simple running stitch. So you can see I'm taking big stitches. They don't have to be perfectly even. And when I tighten them, the fabric's going to cinch in together. So you want to continue with the running stitch until you're more or less at the bottom of the hoop. So I've gone about halfway around with this length of thread. And now I'm going to leave this length of thread loose. Grab another piece of thread. and start again at the top, just beside where we started before. And this time we'll go around this way.
So when we've got to the bottom, I'm going to take my needle out of this thread, lay that aside, and should have two threads that when we pull on them, they have the effect of tightening up the fabric nice and snug. So once we've tightened it up as much as it will comfortably go, we can tie it just in a simple knot. And you don't want to turn it too close to the knot, but enough that it doesn't show on the other side. And you can leave it like this, but this is an option. If you want to actually cover up this part, this is another step. So to do this, you need some felt. This is just ordinary craft felt that you can get at any fabric store. You can even get it at Walmart or other craft stores just by the sheet. And to do this, you need to trace the inner ring of a hoop. So you would do this part before you cinch this in here. You need the inner ring, not the outer ring, because you only want the dimension of the inner ring. So we just want to place this on your felt, grab a pen, and just carefully Trace around it. For some reason, I am using the smallest scissors in the world for these. And the rest of this aside. And we'll place the felt on the back side of our hoop. Then we'll need a needle and some thread. And this can be any scrap thread that you have. It doesn't have to be embroidery thread. It can be just regular sewing thread. I'm using embroidery thread because I have some here. We'll thread our needle. We're going to go around and just do a simple stitch, securing the two of them together. You're going through the felt and just catching your backing fabric. Just 
if it helps you, you can pin, put a few pins around. I find that the felt really sticks to the backing, so I'm not finding that necessary. But if you were working with a more slippery fabric, that might help. When you get to about the halfway point, in this case, I need to start another thread. You may not, depending on the length of your thread, but I'm going to anchor it and just try and make it so that my knots are not showing much. So halfway around, Let's grab another piece of thread. And again, just trying to make sure my knots don't show here. Just going to tuck this in so that my knot is tucked in between these two layers. Stitching around thing to around thing, I always find there's a little bit of wrinkling. Just try to smooth it out as you go, and sometimes at the end you end up with a little bit of a tuck, but it's not really a big deal. If you find that happening, just tuck that last little bit or just kind of smooth it out as you go. Make a few loops around, just anchor the last bit of thread and trim it. And there we have a beautifully finished hoop backside.